so hello guys it's a pretty long time i did not make any video because i was a bit busy with my uh, work and this is brief about me okay i come from my chemical engineering background work as a senior software engineer i'm from bihar and this is my facebook page so whatever video i make i do uh, you know post a link on this facebook page and this is my core java playlist where you'll be getting all my core java videos and selenium videos which i make i upload there okay so and uh, if you have any doubt you can you know uh, you can message me in my facebook page you can write on my facebook page or you can you know uh, write down below my uh, video so that you know i'll i'll make another video for you so <clears throat> today i'll talk about very important concepts in selenium that is called sibling sibling is very very important concept in selenium because these days what happens is uh, you will get lot of dynamic ui pages and you don't have any uh, object for it so to identify that dynamic objects uh, you need to know the sibling concepts right otherwise you know you cannot write uh, the object which will uh, which will be uh, i mean like it will work for a long time right if you'll write some object which will not work for the long time the maintenance will be very really high so uh, today i'll talk about one by one like how to use the siblings what is the benefit of siblings and how we can use it so siblings basically as you already know the name itself says that siblings which means a parent has a siblings right a parent can have multiple childs right that is called siblings so again in siblings you have two different category one is following siblings and one is <coughs> preceding siblings right apart from that you have child you can use child in a uh, selenium you can use a descendant you can use ascendant and uh, yeah so these are these are these are uh, five major concepts following siblings preceding siblings child descendant and ascendant in fact you can use parent right i will show you one by one how to use it and how you can you know take advantage of this uh, siblings do that i'll be using this facebook page okay so that you know you guys can do practice on it so just press f12 this will open this will open the developer mode of uh, chrome right so as i told you if you look at here this body class here right this is nothing but a parent and this div a script these are nothing but siblings right so this is parent and these are the siblings because it comes under body so these are these are siblings and this is a parent now if you are a div right? if you are a div class li something right a script is nothing but following siblings because these are the following siblings i mean it has multiple siblings uh, similarly uh, this script is also following si siblings of div class so if you, if you are a div class remaining down is nothing but following siblings but if you are at a script level right the script before this the script before this and div this is preceding siblings right which means sibling before and sibling after right so these are the concepts now again if you expand this see this is nothing but child of this script right this is nothing but child of this script so inside that you have some required lazy something right so a script is nothing but uh, it's a siblings and this is nothing but child similarly if you are a script you can say that this is descendant like you know you are at body you are coming down to a script and then you are coming down to required lazy so this is descendant and if you want to go up if you are at this level this is ascendant and the uh, you can use parent saying that if you are at this level at a script level so body is your parent now i'll show you through coding how to use that so that you will understand better what i am trying to say there so go to the console you know i i love uh, testing my uh, x path through concept uh, through console so what i'll do is to show the uh, to show the following siblings i will go to this day you can see that here <coughs> is called day is equal to what day and title is equal to day right now what i'll do is i will write a x path for that so how to write a x path very simple you can write dollar x right i'm not to write x path how to test the x path so you can write dollar x bracket okay go to the source uh not source again go here yeah i want to use my console here itself mm, i want to test here itself 
because console will be visible for me so what I can do is can't I open console here no I cannot ok F12 again. F12. F12. Okay. Okay, I think you know I cannot use uh, console here. So, so what I'll do is do that. Uh, no, I think I write my X path here. I can write my X path here. Okay. So what I'll do is I will write double slash and then I will write select because you know already how to write the X path. So you guys will, but if I'll write here it will try to locate it. No problem. Select and at ID is equal to day. So see here, this is getting highlighted. This is getting highlighted. This is getting highlighted. To test this X path, just do Control C. Go to the console. Okay. Right here, uh, dollar, dollar X bracket. No, small X, small X bracket. Uh, double quote. Inside double quote, write your X path. Okay. Write dollar X bracket. Inside double quote, write this X path. Hit enter button. You can see that here. See here. See here. This is giving you this uh, HTML, and it will it will place a mouse over here. You can see that day here, right? So now, uh, important thing is, if you look at the HTML of this day, right? After day, what you have? You have month here. This is your month, and this is your year, right? So you are at this level. So month is going to be following siblings and year is going to be following siblings, right? See here carefully how to use following siblings. Assume that you have the object of day, okay? You have the object of day and assume that you don't have the object of month, okay? You don't have anything unique. You don't have the object for year. You don't have anything unique since here they have given it, but just assume that you don't have anything unique, right? Then how to how to use following siblings and through following siblings you can achieve this because if you know one object here okay you can go here also you can go here also i will show you see this is your first select this is your second select and this is your third select right so you can say that this is zero select this is one select and this is third select right you can see that here now i'll go to my console okay what i will do i will copy this it's very simple i will copy this i will do control v okay here i will write hyphen Sorry, backslash following sibling and you have to write colon colon. Okay, following sibling colon colon. If you write at if you if you write a star, which means give me the following sibling, give, give me the all following siblings of day. Okay, give me all following siblings of day. So if you hit enter here, you will get everything. You will get day also, sorry, you will get month also, you will get year also. Both you are getting, right, one by one. Because a star which means give me all siblings of that particular node. Give me all siblings of that particular node. But we are interested to get one by one. So what we will do, it's very simple. And guys, after following siblings, you have to write this double colon, double colon. Otherwise, it will not work. So you can write here, select and first select okay you are saying that give me the following siblings of first select if you hit enter see here you are getting month here right nicely you are getting month here if you look at here you are getting month here right hope 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 this is clear for you guys i'll i'll maximize this i will just okay control v uh if you write here select S E L E C T. First select is nothing but your here month. See nicely you are getting a month. 
then to to get the year what is the year here year is third select right year is third select that's what i have shown to you here if you go to the element here this is year year is a third select so third select is nothing but select two because select zero is this select one is this select two is this so i'll go to the console and i will copy this i will copy this and i will write here instead of one i will write two right if i'll hit enter see i'm able to see this right i'm able to see this so guys to test any x path in the chrome you write dollar small x bracket inside the bracket write your x path okay copy this x path inside the bracket sorry inside the bracket put a double quote inside double quote write your x path okay hit enter you will get the output for it okay see here you are getting output for it so for you guys what i will do i will i will, I will write here x path so that uh for you it will be easy and you can do practice actually because i know uh, console will be very small and maybe video will not be uh, so clear so better i will i will write it here one by one so first what i did if i'll go one by one this is the x path of year okay year x path this is x path of year okay and i'll copy this it will be here one this is the x path of m o n t h month so hope hope you guys are getting it how to use following ceiling see what i did i just copied the object of day okay i just i mean i just wrote the object of day and i didn't write the object of uh, month and year but still i am able to use month and year right still i am a i am able to use the month and year just by keeping the reference of day i am able to get the object of year and month right so that's how that's how you will use xpath okay and to test your uh, xpath in the chrome what you have to do is in uh, go to the chrome console click on chrome console put dollar small x okay uh, double quote inside that write your xpath okay hit enter you will get the you will get the corresponding html right so hope 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 this this concept is at least following sibling concept is is clear right so i'll make one one video so this is for following siblings after that i'll make for preceding siblings right so hope you guys understood how to use following siblings to use the following siblings assume that you have a day assume that you have one object at least okay one object you have but you don't know the many object you don't know the many object you don't have any unique name class css nothing you have I still you want to work on that you can go to you can identify that that object and you can use following siblings so following siblings whatever siblings you have at that level you will get that okay so this was select of one and this was select of two and uh, as i told you there is one more concept here if you if you write just copy this there is one more concept if you put here only a star okay this will give you all siblings of that day okay this will give you all sibling of that day so if you if you'll copy this copy this full code and if you hit control uh, if you hit enter button in the google chrome you'll get all the sibling so i'll copy this as i told you i'll copy this control c i will copy this i will just paste it here control v and i'll hit enter see i am getting everything i am getting everything here see here I, I have given a star so i'm getting month also this one is a month and this one is a year so this one is a month and this one is a year right so hope you guys understood still you have any doubt please you know comment below my video okay and this video is only for following siblings i'll be making for uh, preceding siblings also as well as for the child descendant ascendant right thank you for watching this guys uh, if you like this video please like my uh, you know uh, video and subscribe my uh, channel thank you once again